The root. This video is going to go over the structure of the root and the zones, a diagram that appears frequently in the exam papers, so it's important to know. So when you're studying the root, the best place to start labelling is at the very tip. So at the tip of the root, you find the root cap and its function is protection. So the root cap is there to protect the root as it grows downwards. Protected by the root cap is the meristem. So this is meristematic tissue. It's a group of similar cells that can undergo mitosis to produce new cells. So the function of the meristem is the production of new cells by mitosis. And all the cells of the root cap and the root would be produced by this meristem. And because the meristem is located at the point of the root or the tip of the root, it's known as an apical meristem. And you would also find an apical meristem at shoot tips. So next we have the vascular tissue, phloem and xylem. Food is transported in phloem downwards through the plant and water is transported upwards in xylem. So finally we have the root hairs and this is where water is absorbed into the plant through the root hairs. Next it's the root zones and the root is divided into four distinct zones. Firstly the zone of protection. This is where you find the root cap. Above this is the zone of cell production. This is where the cells of the meristem produce those new cells by mitosis. Above this is the zone of cell elongation or the zone of elongation. This is where those newly produced cells will simply get longer. And then above this is the zone of differentiation. This is where those newly produced elongated cells will become specialised cells. They'll differentiate. Finally, it's a good idea to be able to mark in on your diagram the plant tissues. Always start at the outside and work your way in. Dermal, ground and vascular tissue. A good way to revise the root would be, I think, to draw a diagram and put in the key labels on the diagram. So the root cap, the merry stem, the xylem, the phloem and the root hairs. Most important that you know the four zones because this was asked previously in exams. And it's really important that you know where dermal tissue, ground tissue and vascular tissue is on the diagram. The very best of luck. Remember that the only way to do well is to use your textbook, to do past papers and to listen to your teacher. Best of luck.